What's up, you guys? And welcome to episode 57 of Tea Time with Toph. Tea, boo, boo, boo. <laughs> A reaction series <laughs> where I, Michaela Jill Murphy, the voice of Toph Beifong, go through the original animated series Avatar The Last Airbender, leading up to the live action release on Netflix at the end of February, which our guest is going to be in. Please introduce yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I am James C. And, um... You may know me as a certain purveyor of cabbages during the uh, first two seasons of Avatar. Yes, and I, of course, I had to don my cabbages t-shirt for the day, um, but it, but it's going to hide underneath my, my Fire Nation my Fire Nation colors. <laughs> She's so, in disguise. So my cabbages is here in spirit. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I thought because we were having tea that I would try this uh, recipe and bring some cookies. These are special cookies. Mm -hmm, very special. <laughs> because, <laughs> because they're cabbage cookies. So yep. <laughs> uh, she hasn't tried them. I, if she hates them, that's that's perfectly fine. I got them from... Uh, I'll be honest. Yeah, will you? I will. Okay. I will absolutely be honest. There's a book that's an Avatar cookbook. Cook and so yeah. I made it out of here. So it's we'll see. This really is my good. this is my first. It's one. a really good cookbook. Have you yes. had anything else from it no. so far? This is your first thing. Yeah. Starting strong with the cabbage cookies. Okay. Amazing. <laughs> okay. The first thing you'll notice is strong scent <laughs> of cabbage. I feel like I should be in like a soup shop, not like eating a cookie. So just so you know, they're savory. Okay. okay. Think savory of it cookie. like a cracker. Like it's okay. a. There's a lot of fennel in it. Ooh, coriander. Yummy. Okay. Go ahead. I'm very excited. Right. Ready. Oh my gosh. Cheers. Okay, cheers. Mmm. <laughs> oh, this is really good. I really yeah. like it. Do you? I also just like savory. But they, like this feels like it would be a good afternoon tea biscuit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you, would you do you want the more like crackery or do you like the, this texture? It's kind of a short bready texture. Mm -hmm. I kind of like the mix. No, because it's not too bready, but it's not too crumbly. So mm -hmm. I'm not making a mess. Like if it's too too crackery, then it starts crumbling everywhere, mm -hmm. and you you're covered in, you know, crumbs. A whole head of cabbage is in these. A whole head, a whole of, head cabbage. of cabbage. Oh my goodness. So these are really good. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. I really like them. Thank you. <laughs> I was not expecting to like them. I was gonna be like, oh man, this is gonna taste weird. But no, it tastes really good. Will they go well with the tea we're having? Hmm. That's a good question. We'll um. We'll see. I think today's episode is a little is a little fiery. We're at book three, mm. episode seventeen, Ember Island Players. Very exciting episode because this is the only episode in in season three where you're actually referenced at all. They barely have. I was so shocked. I was kind of going through, and I was like, oh, he shows up like tons of times. Yeah, no, no. You're mainly book one and book two. Yeah, yeah. And then Cora, when you like run all the cabbages of the world. When I play my uh -huh. my, my own ancestor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> This is, a, I'm really glad that they at least referenced me. That was very nice. All right, guys. Well, go ahead and get your own cup of tea, water, coffee, whatever you'd like. We're going to go ahead and get this episode started and then dive into today's tea flavor. Finally, can you imagine these two actually coexisting harmoniously at the beginning of the series? <laughs> Doesn't that seem kind of weird? And this is a great episode because it's like the last moment of levity. Yes. Like before the war, mm -hmm. you know, the last... Um, last moment of fun, yeah. calm. Yeah. Yeah. The boy in the iceberg is a new production from acclaimed playwright Poo on Tim, who scoured the globe gathering... Looks amazing. Avatar, Looks great. From the icy South Pole to the heart of Ba Sing oh. His sources include singing nomads, pirates, prisoners of war, and a surprisingly knowledgeable merchant of cash. <laughs> boom! Boom, boom, boom! <laughs> That's you! <laughs> That's me. Thank you. Good night. Okay, let's see. What, uh, what do we have... For our tea today okay book three episode 17 the ember island players flaming fire flakes blend Ooh. cinnamon chili black tea blend with smoked black tea cinnamon ginger chili and safflower wow. yum preparation 212 degrees for a five minute steep yum okay a little spicy a little spicy are you a big tea person mm, i yeah. can i can, can be okay yeah. all right so we might have some mixed reviews here it's okay we've had some people who hate tea okay. on on you know this this show so it's okay my feet can't see a thing from up here don't worry i'll tell your feet what's happening <laughs> and it's like a murderer's row of the cast of yes. the amber island yeah. it's crazy how how great it is Sokka, my only brother <laughs> We constantly roam oh, these icy south That's great, seas. right? I think so. Yeah. All I want is a full feeling in my stomach. I'm starving. <laughs> 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 
Not wrong. I mean, this is kind of accurate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love that I'm just enjoying this entire experience and everyone else Hell's is buttered. miserable. I'm having a great time. Ooh, okay. This smells a little spicy and a little sweet. Oh, that, that's kind of nice. Yeah, yeah. Kind of nice. I love the cleavage on this katara. It's really, it's really giving. I... <laughs> oh man, this ranger's a genius. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Frozen boy. <laughs> oh. I'm the Avatar, silly. I mean, who ever would have thought of casting Rachel Dratch <laughs> as the Avatar? It's the best. <laughs> who would have thought? I also love how this opera is really given, giving like dragon, yeah, no, like yeah, festival right, dragon right, vibes. Right, right, right. <laughs> my heart is so Look at the legs <laughs> on Katara. I swear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You know, many people have come up and been like, you guys should make cameos as the Ember Island players if they make it to season three. <laughs> and I mean, it would just be so fun. It would be fun. <laughs> Did I mention that I'm an incurable prankster? <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. That's not what I'm like. And I'm not a woman. <laughs> <laughs> This was a very fun episode for me. Uh, I was having a great time. <laughs> Prince Zuko, you must try this cake. I don't have time to stuff my face. Oh my god. And isn't that Dante's brother? Oh yeah, I think yes. so. I think so. So cool. I think I found something. <laughs> it's a flying rabbit monkey. <laughs> rabbit monkey. Hi everybody. I'm Ruby. Oh my gosh. Aww. Kyoshi Warriors actually look pretty Does cool. This yeah. Just make my butt look fat. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also like a great way to like think about the whole season in mm -hmm. retrospect, you know? Mm -hmm. Was it fun hearing people do you? Yeah. I think so. But also, I'm not really I'm not really me. <laughs> no, you're very not you. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's pretty accurate. Yeah. I agree with her. I'm like, yeah. That's your inner. Yeah, that's your my energy. <laughs> Got some interesting like kabuki theater references going on. Exactly. <laughs> 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 oh, look at Chet. Oh my gosh, the hair. What a hair. Chet, you're so bad. <laughs> <laughs> She's not denying She's it. She's like, nope, oops, <laughs> that's, that's real. That one's accurate. I have to say the production values of this production yeah, really, really great yeah ember island's got a budget they, yeah they do <laughs> <laughs> you never told me you made out with the moon spirit oh, I'm trying to oh my gosh oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh wow <laughs> that is art high art i also love that this this theater is packed like ember island this is clearly like the place to be and obviously it's state sponsored of course yes of course Avatar doesn't resemble me at all. <laughs> I don't know. You are more in touch with your feminine side than most guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here to piss people off. Listen, friends. It's obvious that the playwright did his research. I know it must hurt, but what you're seeing up there on that stage is the truth. <laughs> is the truth. <laughs> My voice in this season is so much closer to what? me now. Like if season two when I first start, yeah. it's, it's so much higher. It's oh. so funny listening to my opening episode uh -huh. and being like, you know, I can see because I'm blind. It's like more up here. And then here she's, I'm, I grew up. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a year later. You did that on purpose. Yeah. That was all it, part of the plan. All part. There you are. It looks exactly like me. <laughs> My name's Tough because it sounds like tough. Sounds like tough. And you get to be played by John DiMaggio. That's pretty amazing. It hurts, doesn't it? Are you kidding me? I wouldn't have cast it any other way. <laughs> wouldn't have cast it any other way. <laughs> see, I'm at peace with who I am. <laughs> I release a sonic wave from my mouth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they they that, just have that so wrong. That's a that's a liberty that they're taking. <laughs> oh, like echolocation. Oh my gosh, I love that that's what they think is happening. <laughs> time to time to try some tea. All right. Let's see. It's probably going to be a little bit lighter because mm. it, we're splitting one bag. So it might be a little more gentle than It does usual. smell really nice. Okay. Yeah. All right, it's a little hot. 
and yeah. cool off for a few minutes. Yeah, this special effects guy's working overtime. I, oh, hope, I hope he's getting like bonuses. He doesn't Probably even have enough. an assistant. And he's just him doing all of it. <laughs> incredible, absolutely incredible. Oh boy, getting tired. Uh -huh. There's not enough. Oh, that's me. That's me at the first act of any play. <laughs> oh no. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> well timed. Yeah. You know, it was really unclear. <laughs> no, that's the that's, question that, yes. of the season. <laughs> that was like fan commentary. Did Jet just die? <laughs> the Avatar. <laughs> Why he's like a little brother to me. <laughs> I certainly. I have to admit, I've always I was kind way. of shipped them. What Zuko and and Katara? Oh, <gasps> guys, we've got a Zutara fan. You have lo lots of people agree with you. You know, clearly. Oh, oh. right, right, the betrayal. You smell. Uh oh. You didn't really say that, did you? I might as well have. Oh, brutal. It's great though that they, you know, there's emotion mm -hmm. in, in this episode too. It, it's you know parody in one sense, but yeah. there's also real reflection happening. This is like a good therapy session for everyone before they head into battle. You know, clear exactly. clear up the chakras, <laughs> empty everything out, clear you know, drain the lymph. You know, just <laughs> get it all out. <laughs> I love that May's got swords in her buns. I kind of wish she had that in real life. That's kind of cool. Oh, here he goes. There goes the avatar. There she go. There he goes. What is oh yeah, the, it's very subtle. What is the prominent taste? I feel like what it's mainly that? the chili flakes coming through. Maybe a little bit of the ginger. Maybe it's the ginger. What else is in there? Black tea, cinnamon, ginger, chili, chili safflower, and definitely a little lighter. Than, than usual. This is more of a gentle steep because it was we're splitting a bag. Let's see. Okay. The description for today's tea. This episode primarily serves as a recap of everything major that has affected the main plotline thus far, from a different comedic perspective. <laughs> Just a little. We join Team Avatar with our favorite flaming fireflake snack once again, and recall pivotal moments before the epic four-part season finale. There you go. That was today's description. Straightforward. Oh, I should have put chili flakes in the Cabbage cookies. Ah, uh, next time. Next time. Next time. You get a muscly version of yourself taking down ten bags. She's like, "Yep, that's me." Making sassy remarks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my uncle. He's always been on my side, even when things were bad. He was there for me. I guess this is my version of, and how do I you know, remain? going on a life-changing adventure with Zuko because I don't get one otherwise. It's our bonding moment. This is it. This is all we got. You have redeemed yourself to your own. I do love the two of you together. It's a great pair. Now you're here with us. He'd be proud. <laughs> Very Hi. nice of you. Which is... <laughs> yeah, see, we got a little moment. Yeah. We got a little bonding moment. Sweet. We both come from like a very well-off family, but like our parents are very traumatic, you know, to uh, for us. <laughs> so there's a little bit of shared history there. I'm a big soccer fan, but I don't think you're representing me quite as well as you could be. Oh no, another fan oh boy. with ideas. Oh boy. What does the cabbage merchant use to fix his cabbages? A cabbage uh, patch! I thought it was pretty good. Don't be afraid to make up some phrases, especially before an attack. Oh Something gosh. like, Flying Kickapow! <laughs> flying Kickapow. I'm just a guy who likes comedy. <laughs> what are you talking about? On Did you always know that they were gonna... I was just like a... End up together. together. Do you, do you, do you... I I I just assumed because I feel like that's you know mm -hmm. they've been together since the beginning. Right. We kissed at the invasion, and I thought we were gonna be together, but we're not. Mm -hmm. Hang. I don't know. <laughs> we're trying to save the world. I don't have time for this right now. <laughs> well, when is the right time? After. <laughs> after. After you, you save, save the, the world. world? <laughs> I'm just a little confused. <laughs> I also love how they took none of this seriously, and then that moment happened. Oh. I just said I was confused. Oh, yikes. I forgot about this. Mm. I'm going inside. Ooh, I forgot about this Folks, scene. Folks, get consent. Y oh, such an idiot. Yes, yes, you are. I totally forgot that he, he snuck that one yeah. in there. Oh, my gosh. Well. That, that never ends well. If someone's confused, kissing them's not the answer. No, no. <laughs> I just want to let you know, Aang, that I'll always She's love a very zaftig Yes. Katara. Hey Toph, would you say you and Aang have a rocky relationship? Slap a pow! 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> Suki's like, what am I dating? <laughs> she's very, she's very patient. Oh, God bless her. I guess that's it. The play's caught up to the present now. Nope. Wait. The play's not over. They're going to be taking some, some oh. fun liberties with the ending now. Hmm. Father, Zuko and the Avatar are at the palace. They are trying to stop you. Is that great too? You know who it is? Because it sounds... It's Tara Strong. That's right. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't remember it, but it was somebody who was... Yeah. And it, similar, it's really so cool funny. because Tara and Grey are such huge yeah. animation titans. So for them to play each other is yeah. really cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love this bending with ribbons. Yes. Ooh, ooh, cool. <laughs> oh. oh. Oof. Brutal. Oh. The comet is already here, and I'm unstoppable. Uh oh. It's like worst nightmare coming true. Right. And it just makes makes him remember the stakes. That, that he has to right. do all of this. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. So cool how they made it, ad adapted it to this stage, you know. With its it's very impressive. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't a good play. <laughs> oh. I'll say, no kidding. Horrible. You said it. <laughs> but the effects were decent. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I oh, it's end. over. Yeah. It's so fast. Oh. So fast. I think it needed a tough tagline. Can't wait to see the sequel. Well, that was a great episode. Yeah, cheers. Beautiful, beautiful Ember Island players. Always a good episode. <sighs> and now, and now the end begins for real. The, re the real for end. For real, for real. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. Do you have a favorite um, memory from from all of your cabbage, you know, recordings? Did you record multiple at once ever, or did you come no, in each time? I came in each for your time. my cabbages. <laughs> and you know, you guys are all together, and you sometimes you I was. Oh, you weren't. I was alone a lot of the time yeah. because you were a kid. Maybe, maybe just scheduling. I don't know. Oh. Like my slot was Tuesday after school, so like I don't know if everybody else just. Oh you know, really? Yeah. So I was alone for a good number of my oh. recording sessions too. Okay. So you know yeah. that makes you feel better. <laughs> yes, because for me it was like, hi, come on in. And they're like, okay, uh, okay, get the levels. Yeah. Oh, hi, okay. Can you do it? Okay. Yeah. My cabbages. Okay, do it a couple more times. My cabbages. My cabbages. Thanks. We'll That's see it. you later. Have a good life. I know. So I'm actually really glad that I started doing the conventions because I got to meet everyone. Everyone. Yeah. And now I feel like, you know, I've been adopted into yeah. the family. Truly. So. Uh, aside from Avatar, what other things... I don't know, what else is your is your favorite project that you've ever worked on? If if there is one, I know that's a very hard question. But I know you also write. Yes. And so I don't know, is there something that like holds your soul oh. and makes you happy? Well, I I mean, <laughs> I, uh, I have um, a show on in um, Apple TV, oh. which is uh, Stillwater. Okay. And it's it's very a really, cool. I play this, the title character is a very wise panda yeah. who dispenses wisdom through stories. That's so And it's just very centering. It's very nice. Very so, calming. That's yeah. So, nice. so I love that. Okay. I know you're not much of a tea person, but what are your thoughts on this flavor? It's okay if you don't like it. You know what? There's something kind of resiny about it. Okay. I could see that. And um, yeah. Yeah. I'm not. I, not I, his favorite. Not yeah, your favorite. I prefer a little more <laughs> fruit oriented. Well, fruit yeah, based. the the fruit ones in this you know package mm -hmm. have been very very good. I am a big fan of like a dried pomegranate, mm -hmm. you know, rose petal apple thing, you know, mango. All of that tastes really really good. How, how so do this you feel is, about it? I it, it has grown on me because there have been a couple of spicy ones since we're in you know book mm -hmm. three fire and mm -hmm. and it's grown on me a little bit but I wasn't a fan of like the chili flake thing for a second the little spice it just wasn't my favorite mm -hmm. but now it's growing on me now I'm appreciating it differently but I also just like tea in general oh, okay even if it's you know there's been a couple of really earthy ones in book two that like literally smell like dirt oh but they they taste kind of like you're drinking history. Or something. I don't know. There's like this deep kind of earthy, like I don't earthy floral thing going on. But like most people would not like it. But I was like, this is so like, I don't know, spiritual almost. So what do you think? <laughs> which which books teased did you like the best? Oh my god. Well, I don't know. Tea Cozy did a good job of keeping it varied. 
with okay. each season. Mm -hmm. So even if it was like a Zuko alone episode, that mm -hmm. one was maybe a little more spicy versus uh, like mine, even though they were both in book two. So I feel like there's been a good variety in each season. Nice. Um, I would say book one did have a lot more like sparkly glitter or like, mm. you know, more moon centric, water centric, more of like a gentle flavor palette. But book two and book three, I feel like both have been pretty like Strong, strong flavors yeah yeah that's how i feel this is wonderful i know so many teas wow so little time <laughs> well we have finished up book three episode 17 ember island players once again thank you guys so much for watching along on this journey next up we have the finale <sighs> the beginning of the end so crazy thank you tea cozy for the amazing teas thank you guys for watching thank you oh, for thank joining it was my pleasure for your thank last you. mention as the cabbage merchant before we see you live <laughs> yes yes so yes. exciting guys oh my gosh this it's happening in like a few days oh my gosh this is so exciting okay well thank you guys for watching see you next time for the beginning of the end bye, bye. <laughs>